Greetings, I'm Dr. Asada Haki, back again with a video uh, dealing with mental health and natural herbs. And so in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the natural herbs that I research and that I also carry. So if you are not near and have no way of getting um, to a place to that provides natural herbs, I'm your girl. My website is, will be in the description below. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. All right, so getting into the video. Um, again, just in case you're just clicking on it and you didn't see the other video. Um, I came into this research to add these herbs, uh, this herbal brew or herbal combination for psychotic depressants into my repertoire or into my inventory because it concerned me that there are a lot of people who have been diagnosed with mental disorders that are on medications and yet they maintain or they continue to be on medications and yet they're not getting better. And the first thing that people say is, oh my God, you're, you're off your meds or something like that. Not realizing the medication is a more like maintaining or is to kind of like stabilize you, but it it doesn't really deal with the problem or the symptoms for the problem. So when you're working with herbs, herb allow you to have this natural ability to be able to calm the body, calm the nervous system, and allow you to be able to fully clearly think and to be and to feel okay, uh, opposed to these chemical medications for mental disorders that have all of these side effects that actually contribute to what you're taking the medication for, such as anxiety. So there are chemicals in some of these medications that is that side effects, the side effect is anxiety. And so for me, that's like an issue, like you're causing an issue to resolve another issue and it, it was just too much for my heart and so I created this list so that I can have it to provide to my customers and or to be able to share this information as I am doing for those of you who have access to herbs and natural health care um, you can purchase them okay because it's from the earth it's natural I don't need to keep this as a secret recipe or ingredient it's not it's the earth we're all on it it's not a secret the secret is that uh, it heals and so you have people have been made to believe that pharmaceuticals is the true healer when it's not it's just a maintainer to keep you from connecting with your own true divine self. Anywho, that's another video, which is mental health and spiritual warfare. So that's coming soon. All right, so let's get into the herbs. So based on the medication and what they're used for um, regarding the chemical, I researched the herbs that I have to see and other herbs that I can add to it that will also do the same thing without the side effects okay and so I will also list these in the description below along with my website just in case you're interested in connecting in connecting with me and learning more about it and or if you're interested in purchasing herbs all right so and forgive me if I mispronounce these okay I'm learning how to pronounce bigger words and new words that are coming to me through my cosmic mind. So the first one is Ashwagandhi. That's A-S-H-W-A-G-A-N-D-H-I. Ashwagandhi, okay? And what it does is it relieves anxiety, improves mental health and concentration, vitality, and overall improve the quality of life. It also acts as a mood stabilizer and relieves symptoms of depression. It provides benefits similar to anti-anxiety and anti-depressant depressant drugs without drowsiness, insomnia, and other side effects. So that's one that you can introduce 
to your physician as say, hey, this is something I want to try. How do I use this with the medications I'm taking? Because what you want to do is wean yourself off of it or your loved one off of it. You can't just go cold turkey and be like, I'm just gonna go earth. You have to build that relationship with mother earth, which is the herbs and your divine mind and then with your body and then you can become healed, right? Using herbs along with spiritual healing treatments. The next one is holy basil. Helps users feel less anxious and more relaxed in social settings and situations. Relieves stress from physical, mental, and emotional sources, like an antidepressant, okay? So uh, holy basil also allows you to be more relaxed, but from the natural produ production of the healing properties within the herb. Lavender, anti-anxiety. It's a nervine, which is for the nerves. It's sedative and it's a stimulant, okay? So it stimulates the nerve to, uh, the sedation of the nerves to relax, okay? So uh, that's why when you hear people say, if you cannot sleep, sniff some uh, lavender essential oil, put some lavender essential oil on your pillow or on your bed or near you, right? Because that aroma, that natural um, healing aroma, it, it soothes the, the mind, okay? It, it, become, it, it allows the natural serotonin, serotonin to um, be active. Lemon balm. Reduce anxiety, calms the body, and improves mood without negative side effects helps stop the constant flow of anxious thoughts. And I am going to define anxious thoughts as those people who are called man mania or, man um, or manic. It also aids in ADHD and is a mild depression, uh, depressant, calms the mind to think clearly, increases mental alertness, and promotes a positive attitude, okay? My daughter-in-law, she uses, uh, I created an, uh, an anxiety herbal brew just uh, for her or inspired by her because she deals with anxiety and she didn't want to take medications any longer. And so of course, me, I go into my spiritual lab and then I connect and then what happens is Mother Earth leads me to these herbs, all right? And so lemon balm, along with, um, <clears throat> what is the other one that I use for her when it comes to that is a German chamomile because it's a natural um, relaxer as well, okay? So you want pain relaxers and you want to get off of those because all they do is make you sleep and yet you still be feeling pain. Yes, okay, German chamomile and lemon balm are the stuff, okay? Um, so yes. Moving on, motherwort. Again, if you are interested in learning more, connecting, or even purchasing these herbs, and you cannot, and you don't have access, just go to my website and let's connect. Okay, motherwort, calming effects on the central nervous system reduces stress, anxiety, worry, and panic attacks. It lifts moods and reduces depression. Use regularly. So, as you see, it's kind of like letting you know that these medications that are being subs uh, prescribed to people, it's really geared to try to calm your nervous system. It's trying to calm your nervous system so your mind can calm, your body can calm. And then when you're in that calm state, and this is even people without mental disorders, you don't have to be diagnosed with anything. A lot of people are stressed and going through the same thing that those who have been diagnosed within their own body, the same thing. Stress, stress, stress. So you're all over the place. Your mind is all over the place. You're frustrated, you're angry. You're going through all of these things. And so it has nothing to do with a diagnose. Everybody goes through schizophrenia and bipolar. And what that means is that you're going through all of these, in the voices, schizophrenia, the voices are your voices most of the time. Those who have not been diagnosed and have not went down a mental health uh, path and you're just like, oh, I'm normal, but yet you keep on dealing with these things. I keep hearing, oh, I should do this. No, I shouldn't do that. Oh my God, I can't do that. Doubt voices. Those are voices in your head, right? But you're not crazy, right? But 
you're still experiencing all of these ups and downs, ups and downs because of what's going on in your external life, which is all due to what's going on in your internal world, which is your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit. What's going on? How can you bring yourself into balance? And these herbs help you naturally come down so that you can connect. And since you're taking in Mother Earth, you have no choice but to connect with the cosmos. Skull cap relaxes nervous system, reduces stress, and relieves anxiety. It helps with oxidative stress, okay? Associated with depression, anxiety disorders, and is a GABA receptor in the brain, okay? Uh, I think people take uh, benzodiazepine for this. <laughs> so it's kind of like got the same effect as this medication, benzodiazepine or pine. I don't know. It depends on where you are and how you pronounce your letters, right? And the last one that I came across, which I'm very skeptical uh, since in further research, is St. John's wort. Oh, it's two more. St. John's wort. Uh, it's not for what they call bipolar or up and down, but it, in, uh, it increases the mania. So you, if you're dealing with SSRI, this is something that you should not take. And they will tell you in, in, in looking up the effects. Like, yeah, uh, don't take the herb St. John wort if you're taking SSRI, which is selective serotonin. Read... Retake, I don't know. Reuptake, I don't know. Is is uh, R E U P T A K E? Tell me how to pronounce it. And it's an inhibitor. Okay. So this is about serotonin again. And so if it increases mania, I suggest that you be mindful to make sure that there's no Saint John Wart in anything that you're taking. Whether you're sticking to your your chemical meds or you're uh, switching over to the herbal care. All right, be mindful of that. And the last one, this is really the last one, is yarrow. It reduces anxiety and calms the nervous system, and it is without sedation. So yarrow can be drank by itself, and it could do the same thing, right? It can just calm you down, bring you into a state of just beingness, and then you can go within. And when you are working with herbs, it's like you're creating a relationship, not just with Mother Nature, but you're also creating a, a relationship with the Creator, what we call God, and you're also creating a relationship with your body. And your body will begin to tell you those thoughts that you're thinking are negative and they're causing you to have this ache, this pain, you're developing and increasing this health issue, yada, 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 buzz, a spee, splee, or it says, oh, don't eat that because when you eat it, your body will reject it and you'll get sick or you'll feel bad. And that's your body telling you that's not good for you. OK, it's the same with medications. If you feel like uh, you're taking medication, then you're up and then you're dropping and you're falling or what they call a downer. Well, you have to be mindful of that. Right. Um, so. Basically, what I'm trying to introduce and say that. Mental health and herbs will bring you a healing effect to what is the symptom and aiding you and resolving the actual problems which deal with a lot of our emotions and the thoughts that we carry. So again, I am Dr. Asada Haki and I hope that this has been helpful. And if you like, please share if you haven't and you would love to hear more video uh, health tips spiritual tips please subscribe all right peace and namaste to you all thank you